Hey there, and happy Friday to you. Hope it's been a wonderful week for you. This is David. <clears throat> and what I talk about here, <clears throat> if I can always, I don't know why I always get on, get on here and it seems like my voice. I always got to clear my throat. <clears throat> I can take a throat lodge and sometimes it doesn't do any good. But anyways, besides ranting on that, what I do is I have what I call balancing the triad. It's working on your body, mind, and spirit, which in turn helps to improve your health, wellness, and fitness. <clears throat> and it took me... By the time I actually started working on all those together, it took me 15 years to figure it out. And, but what it is, it's, it's been a fascinating topic for me and the changes I've had in my life, the differences it's made, and I find it incredible. So that's part of what I, I want to definitely share here is from the title here. Do you age like fine wine or do you age like milk? Then I get the idea. This, um, many of you know Jeff Dunham, he's a ventriloquist and he's, one of his, one or two of his skits had the two, yeah. One of the, his sidekicks there was talking about, yeah, I age like a fine red wine. That is divine. He goes, you're aging like sour, you're aging like milk. <clears throat> but think about that. That's not what definitely care with the body. A wine, a good wine, when it's taken care of properly, taken care of the right conditions, it ages properly and brings out more flavor, more aroma, more ways to improve the enhancements of it. Milk, most of us know. The dairy milk, no, let it too long, and it starts to sour, and you don't even want to drink it. Well, both those cases, you're the same way. How are you taking care of yourself? And the idea of exercise, health, wellness, fitness has been a topic of interest to me since I was in college. Uh, when I was working my, um, I was just working my bachelor's, wasn't even master's yet, um, <clears throat> I did a couple of research papers on aging and the elderly which I found fantastic at the time. You're going through and you find these people that are sometimes so weak to begin with that through four to six weeks of intense weight training and intense is arbitrary for each person, their strength sometimes goes up 300%. And some of the advantages of it was their walking speed increased. You're thinking, okay, then what's the big deal? But if you're in your 70s, 80s, and 90s, for some people, walking speed increased makes a big difference. They were able to get up out of, I'm sitting in a chair, and they were able to get up out of a chair without using the arms. That's a big deal. A lot of times they might have to use the arms and struggle themselves to get up. <clears throat> they were able to reaction time was faster because one of the number one injuries for elderly, <clears throat> excuse me, is falls. So they have reaction time. They get to start there. They can catch them falls faster. Uh, I know one of the people I used to know, he was a trainer at the gym, trained a woman. I don't remember how old she was, but she was above 70. And one time she had her uh, watching her grandchild. Glass fell on the floor, broke on the kitchen uh, floor. And she reached down and grabbed her child up with one hand. Before, so it wouldn't crawl into it. And she realized that she reached down and did that without thinking about it. She had the strength, respect, and um, strength re reflex time to do that. So I love the idea. And that's of what the benefits you can do to take care of yourself. That's what the whole idea here is. And this topic is making sure if you take care of yourself. This is working on your body, your mind, and your spirit so that you can improve your health, wellness, and fitness. You can age like a fine wine and become divine. You can get better with age. Otherwise, you take care of your milk, you're going to get worse with age. How many times have you heard stories about people going back to like a high school, um, yeah, high school reunion? I've never been to any of mine. But you go back and you see certain people go, what happened to them? <clears throat> they look like they're 100 years old. I know my mother is originally from Arkansas, and they took a family reunion back several years ago, a bunch of the family members. And a lot of them back there looked very old. <clears throat> the ones from California looked pretty good. So might be a difference in lifestyle between whether, whether or not, I don't know for sure, whether smoking and drinking plays a factor. I got some relatives back on the towards the east coast that yeah they've spent a lot of time drinking and smoking and it aged them prematurely and matter of fact one of them got cancer and died very quickly because of that <clears throat> but a little tangent there but anyways the idea the notion is that you can take care of yourself you can take care of yourself easily baby steps what you can do so that you can have more fun in your, your later years and the idea is this has gotten to me as i talked this in this uh, number of videos ago <coughs> Excuse me, dang it. Um, as I'm getting near to my 50 year mark, my first half century, and I do want to make sure it's my first half century, I plan on going longer, is for a lot of those around my age, I they don't look like me. 
Even those younger than me don't look like me. A lot, a lot of the ones I'm around, even a friend of mine, she's several years older than I am, and same thing with her. She doesn't say anybody looks like her. It's the difference between making the choice to exercise, whatever that is for you. My friend's a cyclist. I like, I prefer weight training. Any combination of all of the above. Eating relatively healthy, making sure you get rest, working on your mind, working on your body, get the connections around you, get the connection to yourself, spend some time out in nature. I mean, all these little things you can do, and they are little things. They can do baby steps. Can you work out for throughout the day? As I mentioned in several different videos about maybe you can do some squats and push-ups here, go for extra walk. Yeah, that makes a big difference. If you got time, can you go for an hour, hour and a half of exercise? Yeah, go for that. It's what's going to fit into your life. It's doing something, doing all of this. And it doesn't, it's, it might seem overwhelming at first, but it's actually fairly easy to incorporate it into your life. You might do some substitute, you might do a little adjustment here, but it, it doesn't have to take a whole lot of time or replace things. No, let me replace that. You can replace certain aspects you do, but for the better. You're not taking up too much more time if you choose to. But it just depends on how do you want to age. Because I got in my uh, Facebook group, which if you're interested in that, in the description there's a link to that. I got some training to help you with um, starting your process of balancing the try about how to figure things out in your way. But also in one of the guide section there, I got age is just number, which is a quote I've used for years and love it. Right now, I think, I don't know if I've got a dozen plus in there, different links, videos, or articles of people that are defying the odds. And a lot of them, the title is just age and number. These are men and women that sometimes haven't started doing any type of physical training until maybe in their 50s or 60s, but yet sometimes they're in the 70s and doing incredible things, doing incredible things with their body. I, I love it. I love seeing what exercise, taking care of yourself can do. That's why I got the idea of fine wine. How do you choose to age? And I want to make sure I keep choosing to age as a fine wine. I want to make sure I keep getting better. Because right now, I am pretty much the best I've been in body, mind, and spirit. <clears throat> As I continue to learn, I continue to grow, I continue to expand, I continue to change and turn, continue to adapt things to see what works for me, what doesn't work for me. And I adjust, I figure what, what's my life, what's taking place here, I make adjustments and need, but I keep moving forward. I keep making those changes, keep moving forward with it and getting better and better and better. Emil Kuei, every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. But you gotta make the steps to do that. They don't have to be complicated. They can if you want to. They don't have to be. They can be little bits here and there, and they will make the difference. So there I got for you. If you want some extra help in that, if you want to take a look at some of that aging is just a number, want the group, link in the description for my group. Sign up for that one there. Drop, sign up for that, and we'll get you in the group. You can take a look. If you got any questions for them, you can drop a line. You know, yes, I can talk here. Any questions, drop a message here, or even send me a direct message or into my group. Find some questions there and go for it. So have yourself a great weekend. We'll catch you on Monday and have some time enjoying yourself as you age like fine wine that is divine. All right, we'll catch you later. Balance into you. Bye-bye.